Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at frequently asked questions about DC motors. This time we'll talk about how to connect a brushless DC motor properly. A brushless DC motor normally has three or eight conductors. This time we'll focus on how to connect motors equipped with call sensors. These types of motors always have eight conductors. Remember that three conductor motors must never be connected to a controller that is meant for eight conductor motors. Motor manufacturers have different ways of placing markings on their motors. The location and order of the markings might change depending on the manufacturer. At first, set the controller into open loop mode. The whole sensor commutation select should be set to 120 degrees if it's adjustable. These can be set with EM236 interface unit. Here's an example image of the motor wiring. There are three groups of wiring, including the motor winding group, the hall sensor group, and the hall sensor supply. When connecting the motor, there is no need to panic. Just follow the instructions and pay attention that the groups are correct and that the whole sensor feed is going in the right direction. After connecting the motor, select its speed carefully and initiate the drive. Slowly increase the speed. Best case scenario is that the motor starts and runs smoothly in both directions. In this case, everything is most likely connected correctly. Now we're going to change the motor, but we'll use the same settings that we used with the previous motor. As you can hear, something is not quite right with the motor. This is because this manufacturer has different settings for the order of the whole sensor group. If it's not connected properly, one or more of the following issues might appear. The motor doesn't start. The motor runs roughly. Motor idling seems different depending on the selected direction. Motor idling current seems high. If you suspect that these faults are caused by wrong connections, then the following solution should fix the issue. There are six possible ways to connect the whole sensor to the motor. If you are not sure which is the correct one, then the easiest way to solve this is to simply go through all of the possible connections. 
pay attention to the fact that you can only change the order of the whole sensor connectors. You should never touch the other groups and always remember to turn the power off when changing the whole sensor order. Notice that the motor can start even if the whole sensor combination is wrong. If the motor seems to run roughly or has any other problems, try another combination until you find the right one. Eventually you should be able to find the right combination and the motor will run smoothly without any issues. If the problems continue even after you've gone through all of the combinations, a likely suspect for this might be the whole sensors themselves. If one of the sensors is broken, loosely connected, or its wire has damage, then the motor will not function as it should. Hopefully these tips were helpful and you've managed to connect your motor successfully. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.